Yeah. So in this episode about Windows 11, we have a topic under it. What does what Windows 11 means for developers? As I said earlier. So let's proceed. Today at World's Nest for Windows developer event, we will show you the next era of Windows and how we are embracing Windows or open platform. This means everyone has open access to run the widest range of apps on Windows, enabling all developers to build the apps and experiences that empower users to create, learn and play. We focus on five key areas of improvement for Windows 11. One, the new Microsoft Store. Two, improvements in end-to-end -end web development. Three, new features coming for native Windows apps. Four, the Fluent design system and Windows user interface. And fifth, what's new for game developers. So let's proceed. Taking advantage of the new Microsoft Store. So this is how the new Microsoft Store looks like on our home pages. Very nice. We unveil the new Microsoft Store on Windows and announce our support for more app types such as Win32.net and PWAs, as well as support for Android apps from the Amazon App Store. Okay okay now we dig it right the store is also redesigned to keep your customers in their flow and make it easier to search for and discover curated stories and collections with new features like the pop-up store your users can install apps directly from the browser you will also have more revenue sharing options such as keeping hundred percent when you bring your own commerce platform for the store for your app into bracket this does not include pc games a preview of the new store will be available soon to windows insiders so uh, windows 11 is actually new and i'm sure as update goes on we will have more features more new things that comes with it it says using a develop Using our dev tools to improve web that's development tools to improve web and native Windows app development. So we have the summer collection is here. Shop women's new arrivals and enjoy free shipping. So at our right side at this point, this is where we actually see the intuitive nature and where you can actually program. You know, as we can see, we have API here, and API helps most e-commerce shops you know for people to easily buy things from their shops and this is what microsoft has done for us so uh, we can see progressive web app shortcuts integrated with windows with windows 11 we are embracing all your apps and are working to make all apps feel right at home on windows and with the new PWA Builder 3, you can build a PWA from your web app in minutes. Wow. So he's still talking about this development app. Wow. Oh, that's good. Microsoft, thumbs up. The Evergreen Web View 2 runtime. So Web View 2, let me open it and see how web view 2 is oh okay so this is how it is oh nice great i see so the green web view 2 runtime is also included with the windows 11 making it easier to take advantage of its web platform as a performant and secure way to build hybrid web apps of course, you can continue to use powerful developer offerings like Windows Terminal and the new Microsoft Edge development tools as they are now in box. The Windows app 
SDK, formerly known as Project Reunion, will make it easier for you to integrate Windows 11 features into your apps while enabling you to reach more than 1 billion users on Windows 10. Great, great. We will continue to build the Windows app SDK in cooperation with the community and starting today, you can use the Windows app SDK 0.8 stable release into brackets still called Project Reunion in New Get Package and Visual Studio Marketplace. In this release, you will find st stability updates for Win user interface 3 and support for developing for Visual Studio 16.10. The Windows app SDK 1.0 will be released later this year. You can also build apps that run natively on Windows on ARM with the new ARM64 emulation capability compatible ABI. Using the ARM64 EC, you can mix native ARM and emulated 64-bit code in the same process or module. This interoper interoperability means you can optimize your app to run on Windows on ARM even if your app has 64-bit uh, dependencies or loads and 64 bit plugins you don't control. Wow, I like this a lot. So now they've even made it capable for you to be able to run 64 bit apps on Windows 11, which is maybe 32 bit, and that's very cool. Oh, that's very cool. Unlike other Windows operating systems, if it's running a 34-bit OS, you can't run a 64-bit OS on it. I mean, sorry, you can't run a 64-bit apps on the 32-bit operating system. And that's cool with this Windows 11. And what I'm reading on this page has got to do with developers, people who want to be so creative. Refreshing your apps and experiences so they are more engaging. So this is some of the intuitive user interface you can find in Microsoft Windows 11. It says what? Well, use user interface with rounded geometry. Leverage micro interactions and apply a refresh color palette with new materials to make your apps look great in Windows 11. If you want to rejuvenate your app design and experiences to feel at home on Windows 11, you can use the Win User Interface 3 to take advantage of the built-in user interface update, such as rounded geometry, refreshed iconography, new typography, fun micro interactions such as load animation, and refreshed color palette. New materials like Mica also add meaningful hierarchy and more. Snap layouts will also ensure you and your users will be productive on Windows 11. You can also easily create and manage your apps windows using Reunion Window. It works with your existing app code, simplifies common operations and brings new functionality to your desktop apps like light dismiss behavior, picture in picture mode and easier title bar customization developing awesome games for both pc and console to simplify game development for pcs we are making our game development kit that's gdk publicly available free of charge on github the gdk contains the common tools libraries and documentation needed to build games for pc and is the same base GDK used by thousands of de developers today to, de to deliver great experiences for players everywhere. The GDK adds to the game stack collection of technologies we offer today to help developers create, publish, monetize and scale their games. Wow! Now Microsoft Windows means business. 
so it's like this particular windows 11 works like most linux distros we know you know it works like android you know also built on linux and i like it so much i like it so much so in this this is the luminous heat map showing sdr auto hdr and native hdr oh i see great wow it will be so nice playing nice games on this device i see we also announced that great gameplay technology previously only available on console is now available on windows 11 including direct storage to get all the benefits of direct storage you will need pc ie 3.0 plus nvme ssd and a gpu that supports DirectX 12 and a shader model 6.0 plus this enables reduced load times and more expansive detailed living worlds as well as auto hdr which automatically updates direct x 11 and never and newer games with enhanced lighting and color to high dynamic range with no additional work needed to buy you or your players wow oh that's great for developers so windows 11 also came for developers that's your information thank you for watching this video please like share and subscribe to my channel thank you